Sometimes my, you know, my mother-in-law has like a fire pit, and they make the fire, and I'm like, oh, it's too hot. I gotta back up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine going to a building. It must feel like radio radioactive. You know what I'm saying? It must be so hot. And if there's somebody screaming in there, help, help. And I'm just like. Hey, you got gear on. Oh. So imagine what they're fucking feeling. I know. Jesus. I can't oh imagine. Oh, my God. Like I said, you want to, you wanna, like even right now, us as civilians, we want to go in there and be like, all right, I'm going to want to help this person. Have you ever, I told you the story of me going into a fire? No. Man, Nigga. There was a building that was caught fire a block over from, from the crib. And. Is it on 16th Street? Yeah. All right. So, block over, like right before the Spanish restaurant, but on the other side. Oh, where the mute girl lived? You know about the mute girl? No. Oh, that's Danny's story. I can't say it. Yeah. <laughs> Danny told me the funniest story. I'm not going to tell it here. <laughs> I believe it's a funny story, though. <laughs> I do believe it. Oh, I do believe it. Um, no, so there was a fire. Um, it was a hot. I don't know. Was it a cold day? I don't know why there was a fire, but um, we were hanging out and we go outside and oh, got him. Uh, we go outside and um, whatever. We see people in front of the building. It was like one of the middle buildings in that block. Yeah. So Sixth Avenue from corner to corner on that side, there was it was one of the middle buildings and people were screaming. And you could see the smoke coming out of the glass. Um, and I'm like, this is it. This is my chance. This is my moment. I'm going to be on the fucking news. That's what I thought. <laughs> Rosanna Scott was going to interview me. Um, then I went. Me and Danny ran. Do, 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 do. Like, yeah. And I knew he thought the same thing, too. Like, oh, I'm going to be more famous than you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get more bodies than you. And we went in. And it's kind of like the same setup two apartments on each side and when we go in the smoke instantly was like you take a whiff and you're like oh no 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 we I can't gotta, survive in this we gotta get out so it, instinctively I drop to the floor and I'm crawling it's like it's like our shirts like this fucking studio it's pitch black the thickness of the smoke so we're crawling in there and we see people coming out people are still coming out like a mother came out, a, a, a dad came out with a kid, um, and there were other people already up the stairs, like on the second floor. We only made it to like the foyer, the beginning. Yeah. And uh, people were yelling, "Did everybody get out? Did everybody get out? Yeah, yeah, everyone's out. We're good, we're good." I was like, "Oh fuck, I didn't get to really save anyone." <laughs> but I was like, "I gotta get the fuck out of here because yeah, this an shit emergency. is crazy." So I'm crawling off, maybe ten feet. I'm crawling. Um, I'm in the middle of the building in the hallway. I'm crawling out, and instinctively, I think to myself. These buildings are mad close together. So when I got out, I was like, everybody get the fuck out of the other building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody out of the other building. So we started running, coming out. So while we're coming and running, uh, getting other people out of the building, the fire people just got in. So no one's allowed in that building anymore. No one was trying to be in that building no yeah. more. So the firemen were already doing their stuff, and we're coming out of the buildings on the sides, getting, you know, making sure no one is there. So already the firemen are already doing their thing. They, one guy puts a ladder up and I remember coming out of the building next door and I'm like, holy shit, this is fucking wild. Everybody's out of this building. That's good. Oh, they're here. We're good. We're saved. And I remember going down the three little steps off their stool because each, each building had a stool. And the guy who put up the ladder, the glass, got so much pressure because of the smoke, it it exploded in front of him and he fell off the fucking this is second floor oh he my fell God. off the ladder like he was doing a cartwheel <laughs> nigga. like he was going like that and landed on his fucking head bro <gasps> the, fire was, the, yeah, fire the fire pan yeah the fire pan yeah bro yo he was hurt like he couldn't wow, move wow that's such a job bro. He, yo I'm telling you bro instinctively while you were talking about the 9 I it reminded me of that and I was I remember thinking to myself, like, it, I, it clicked automatically, like, the pressure of the glass from the smoke and the oxygen just blasted in his face and it threw him off. It's called backdraft. Oh, my yeah. gosh, bro. I'm like, I think backdraft is a little different. I don't know. Backdraft is like, well, it's, it's contained and then you open the door and that shit. Oh, yeah, probably, yeah. Oh. I, don't know. I don't know the terminology. <laughs> I'm, trying <to> help you. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out. <laughs>